And welcome back, everybody, to American Sunrise. I'm David Brody. Time now for our moment of faith. And focus today, learning to let go of your anxiety, worry, and fear so you can be the best person God created. You know, when polled this year, 43% of adults say they feel more anxious than they did last year. That's up from 37% in 2023 and 32% in 2022. It is on the rise. What are people worried about? Well, <clears throat> excuse me, overall, 70% of those polled are anxious about current events. The economy tops the list at 77%, 73% worried about the upcoming election. Now, the question, how can you turn to God to help you get your anxiety in your life under control? Well, joining me now with that answer is pastor and former professional soccer player, Jesse Bradley. Jesse, uh, good to have you here on the show. Appreciate you being here. Thank you, David. Thanks for covering this topic as well. Yeah, you bet. Uh, hey, talk to us a little bit about this uh, study and the results and what you make of how people can try to make their way towards God in the midst of all of this. Yes, the scriptures tell us over 365 times, do not fear. God wants to comfort us and help us cultivate habits, empower us like prayer. When you pray, you're giving God thanks with gratitude. You're also giving God your burdens. And the peace of God, it transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind. In the Old Testament prophet Isaiah, a Jewish man, he described eagles, and he said, those who hope in the Lord, that's the cure to put your trust in God. Those who hope in the Lord will soar on wings like eagles, and as they do that, consider eagles in that metaphor. Eagles, they get rid of the wings, uh, the feathers that are old because they're too heavy. The eagles know how to harness the power of the wind. Eagles don't flap harder and harder. We're not just gonna do everything with self-help. We need God's help and the fresh wind of the Holy Spirit. And also eagles are attacked by crows who peck and try to steal their food. And eagles ascend. They leave the crow zone. They go into an altitude that the crows can't handle. And that's a picture for us as we trust the Lord. We created 84 days of soaring on justchoosehope.org, free resources. Why? Because we want to soar together. We need to rise above the crow zone and we can put our trust in God. Truly, this is relational, not just something to do as a habit, but draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Well, that's fantastic. And Jesse, you talk about this altitude, and I want to be real uh, with you and our audience for a second. I mean, the truth of the matter is when I'm in prayer, there are times, there are actually many times where I'll start to be thinking of other things, you know, life's worries, or it's not even about worries. It might just be like, what's for dinner? Or, oh, you know, I got to get, um, well, I have two granddaughters. So, you know, I'm thinking about my granddaughter. I've got to uh, pick her up at four o'clock, whatever it is. You know, we start to get kind of distracted by the day stuff. How do you get to that higher altitude? How do you kind of go through? You want quiet time with God, but let's be honest. Sometimes our quiet time gets distracted. That's right. Distracted is the perfect word for our culture. It's noisy. It's busy. It's not focused on God. So we need to be intentional. Guard some time. And as you pray, this is what you can do. Draw near to God with your heart. This is relationship. And in a world right now where discouragement is a narrative, reject that hopelessness. We can pray anywhere. God will meet you anywhere. And as you pray, think about the disciples in the boat. The storm was there. And we have storms all around us right now. But Jesus is in the boat and that makes all the difference he's the prince of peace and he told them choose faith over fear he said have faith in me he even took a nap so we can have a non-anxious presence <laughs> and as we continue to pray and cultivate that habit pray with other people not just for people but find some people to pray with Prayer is powerful because God is powerful. God wants to bring healing in the land. God will bring shalom in your home. But it's going to start with Jesus, who's the risen Savior. He's overcome death, and all these trials are temporary. His grace is sufficient. And the cure for anxiety is Jesus. Amen to that. And uh, God, Jesus, that is, gives us free will, which means he gives us the opportunity to reach out, and we need to do that. That's our, that's our job. Uh, Pastor Jesse Bradley, thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. Hey, thank you, Dave. It's 24-7 relationship with God. You can pray anywhere. So let's ascend beyond anxiety.